what have you brought to the harvest today? I have these photos mm -hmm. of my grandfather's uh, business. Okay. He started in business in 1917, 100 years ago this year, mm -hmm. when he was 13 years old. He assumed the horse that he was working with his employer because his employer couldn't pay him. Mm -hmm. So he started picking up garbage okay. and delivering freight from the uh, train station. Then this is his first truck mm -hmm. and his first employee whose name, last name was Rao. And then later he bought a, this truck mm -hmm. to haul ice and deliver ice in Milton. His school teachers were keeping his books and when he was in the eighth grade, mm -hmm. two years after he started this business, the school teacher said, Parsh, you're making more money than <laughs> I am. You might as well quit and do this full time. This is his 50th anniversary of service to Milton in the trucking business, uh, 1917. He would have been 13 years old, Yeah. 1967. This is an, a later picture of one of his steel trucks. He delivered a lot of steel for Milton Manufacturing, which had been Boyardi Steel. Mm -hmm. After Boyardi family sold the uh, food processing plant to um, American Home Foods, he started Boyardi Steel and then turned that over to Mary Chapman Scott. Then this is my father, Louis B. Kepler, and he worked with my grandfather as general manager of the Kepler Brothers Trucking until 1968, mm -hmm. when he started a side business called Professional Driver's Service. In 1975, my father, Louis B. Kepler, uh, started Professional Drivers Academy, and that is now the business I run. Okay. So that was uh, 40 years old two years ago, so it's 42 years old this year. And that's the only surviving business of that truck, that, the trucking business that my grandfather started. Three generations of truck transportation family, born and raised here. I can trace uh, our heritage back to the Civil War in the upper cemetery. Uh, my other son lives in uh, Hagerstown, Maryland, mm -hmm. and he's not interested in the trucking business. Okay. My daughter lives in um, Doylestown, and she's not interested in the <laughs> trucking business. So um, this may be the end of mm -hmm. this uh, business in Milton, although I do have two cousins that, um, sons of cousins okay. that are either truck drivers or are involved in the trucking business.